Hi, this is Joachim for statisticalprogramming.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the rbind and the rbind fill functions in R. In this video I'm going to show you two examples and in the first example I'm going to show you how to use rbind and in the second example I'm going to show you how to use rbind fill. So for the first example, I'm going to use the iris data set and uh, we can load the data set with this line of code here. And um, with the head function, we can have a look at the first six rows of this data set. So as you can see, the data consists of different information on iris flowers. So more precisely in the first column, uh, the data shows the sepal length, the sepal width in the second column, the petal length, the petal width, and the species of the iris flower. So now let's assume that to this data set we want to add another data set, uh, maybe because we have collected some further data or uh, because we have two different data sources and we want to combine both data sets into one data frame. And um, for the example, I'm going to create a second data set with the following rows of code and uh, when we run the code you can see that a new data set is created which is called data new and uh, one important thing for the rbind function is that the two data sets that you want to combine have the same structure so as you can see here the new data that i have created consists of exactly the same columns as the iris data set that i have loaded before Okay, so now we have loaded the two data sets and now we can apply the rbind function to these two data sets. And we can do that simply by writing rbind, open a bracket and then insert into these brackets the names of our two data frames that we want to combine. So the first data frame that we want to use is the iris data frame and the second data frame that we want to use is the new data frame that we have just created. Let's run this line of code and uh, then let's have a look at the last six rows of our data set. And uh, as you can see, until row 150, we have stored the values of the iris data set. But at the bottom two rows, we have two additional rows, which consist the values of our new data set, data new. Yeah, so that's basically how to apply the rbind function in R. But as you have seen, one important condition for using rbind is that the two data sets that you want to combine have exactly the same data structure. And that of course can create problems because sometimes your data will have one or more additional columns that your, that your other data set does not have. And how to deal with such a situation is what I'm going to show you in the second example. So let's move on in the R code. And um, as I told you before, in the second example, I'm going to use the rbind fill function. And uh, what you have to know is that the rbind fill function is part of the plier package. So in order to use the function, you first need to install the plier package. Uh, you can do that with this line of code here, but um, you need to do that you need to do that only once so once you have installed the package you don't need to install it again um, what you need to do every time when you restart r is you need to load the plier package and this is what you can do here with uh, the following line of code so i'm also going to do it now um, then i'm also going to delete everything that is in my global environment because we want to start a new example and for this second example, I'm again using the iris data set, which can be loaded as before with this line of code. And of course, the data set looks exactly the same as in the first example. And then in this example, I'm again creating a new data frame that I want to combine with the iris data set. But as you can see in this example, my data has only four columns. So in other words, I'm missing the species column that the iris data set has. So if I would 
apply the rbind function to these two data sets, I would get an error because the structure of our two data sets is not the same. However, for the rbind fill function, this is not a problem, as you will see with the next line of code. So if you want to run the rbind fill function, you simply have to write rbind fill and within the brackets, you again have to write the names of the two data sets that you want to combine. So in this case, again, iris and data new. Let's run this and then let's have a look at the tail of our new data set of our combined data set with the tail function. And as you can see, again, until row 150, we have the values of the iris data set of the original iris data set. But in row 151 and 152, you can see our new data. And here in the last column, in the species column, you can see that we have an A values, or in other words, missing values. And that is because we did not specify the species column in our new data set. So as you can see here, the rbind fill function is very helpful when the structure of your two data sets is different. Okay, so that is all I wanted to show you in this video. So I hope you have liked the video. And if you have liked it, I would of course be happy if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, also if you would leave me a comment and then see you next time for the next video. Bye bye.